Hey guys, good morning, good evening, afternoon, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's morning for me. So today we're gonna do uh, part two in the Christmas gifts. And what we're gonna be doing today is messing with this piece of canary wood. So um, what we're gonna be doing is a salt and pepper shaker. I've got a uh, Well, it's a relatively easy turning. I'm gonna use these. These are from Rockler. Um, drilling out a hole, plopping it in there, and then I think we secure it with a little CA glue, and then it'll this will be inside here, and these will be salt and pepper shakers. So, um, I got a piece of canary wood here. It's a two by two, inch and a half by inch and a half, something like that. I think I don't remember. I had this all memorized before I started the camera and then I completely forgot. Yeah, so inch and a half square. And then uh, chop it in half and drill a little bit on each side for the bottom mortise and then flip it over and drill the other way for the actual tube. And then we can shape it however we see fit. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. This is gonna be another Christmas gift that I'm giving out. Um, I haven't decided how we're going to differentiate yet. Obviously, you need to differentiate between the salt and the pepper. Uh, they recommended, um, when I was looking at the instructions, doing it in two different kinds of wood, which was <laughs> great. Um, but I didn't think about that when I picked everything up. And I don't have any other dry wood, and I don't want to do this in wet wood and end up cracking or something like that. So uh, we're going to do it two pieces like this and kind of change up the design and go from there and kind of figure out what we want to do. So that's going to be today's video uh stick around appreciate it and make sure please hit that like button uh hit the subscribe button if you haven't already uh done so if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button with the bell notification you know when i got a new video going live every week um share the video if you could out to the social any social media platforms where they you know anybody can see it would be, be greatly appreciated and comment on the video and let me know what you think about this project um, I am trying to work on getting the actual videos themselves to be better. I am, I am trying to improve it. I'm limited with what I have right now. Uh, I am putting uh, more resources into trying to, trying to figure out how to edit bit better. Um, right now, I do everything on my phone. I record on my phone. I edit on my phone. I upload on my phone. Uh, so I actually have to upload it to the computer after it's edited and put it in any of the YouTube things, editing music or anything like that if I put any of that in there and then I've got to I've got to upload it to YouTube so um it, it's what I have I don't really but my computer right now it would laugh at me the what I used to, to upload but would laugh at me if I put an actual editing program and did all the videos editing on there it would just laugh at me it's just not powerful enough so um anyway uh, hopefully in the future we'll be able to get that done maybe but I think that the quality of these uh looking over here I need to be looking over here I'm actually looking at myself instead of looking at the camera sorry um, I think the quality of these cameras on these uh, I'm using an iPhone I think it's actually really good so uh, it's better than some qualities I've seen from actual camera so but I am looking to improve that hopefully hopefully within you know next while I'll be able to do that um, I, I personally I, I want to upgrade the stuff out here more than I do that but it all kind of goes hand in hand so um, other than that, uh, that's going to be the video for this week. I don't think I have anything else. I'm going to get this uh, chopped down real quick on the uh, the bandsaw. I don't know if I'm going to record that part. It's kind of like over hard to reach in the corner. So, um, But uh, we'll probably come back when I have it checked up, ready to drill on the lathe. So be back. Uh, so hopefully y'all can see everything. So... What we're gonna do, I just, uh, I cut these in half on the bandsaw and then end up having to go to the table saw so I could get a, an actual squared off cut. So I'm gonna take each blank and I'm just gonna put a little bit mortise in there to right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I got a little mark on the Forstner bit and then then flip it around and we're gonna drill to right here. I don't know if y'all can see that one either. But it looks like, yeah, it looks like I can. So it's one eighth inch. It's just enough for my spur drive to sit in. And then this is one and 15 sixteenths. Why they couldn't have just done two inches, I don't know. Let's make everything difficult. So, uh, so there and there are rough measurements. Um, 
as I do the second one, I'm gonna do the, the shorter one first, as I do the second one, as I get close, I'll start stopping, blowing it out and checking depth wise for the uh, actual cartridge to go in. So here we go. All right, so I think we're gonna go with that design. Uh, I think this will be the salt, and then I'm gonna put six lines on for the pepper. That's, so they can do it however they want when they get the gift of it. That's how I'm gonna do it in my mind. So we're gonna use my uh, little pen sanding roll here, get everything sanded up real quick on this one, and then we're gonna try out a new finish, uh, new old finish for me. I'm gonna turn the pepper one real quick first, so I only have to change the speed on my lathe once, and think about that till just now. My hood wasn't in y'all's way the whole time. Hopefully you can see some of that. I just realized my hood's getting kind of out there. So um, I went back to the other wings that had more space on it um, to make it the pepper. So we are gonna get cleaned up just a little bit and then I am gonna sand everything. So I'll be right back. All right, so I sanded it up through 600. Uh, we're gonna do a new, well, new old, like I said, type of finish. Uh, any wood turners probably done this before. I haven't done this since high school. It's what I used to finish pins with when I when I took a wood shop in high school. Uh, it's a hut, PPP hut, wax, pretty much. So 
get it going, kind of sh on it, and then use a paper towel to buff it out. So that's what we're going to be doing. See all the wax on there? Uh, that's everything that we put on. We're going to take it off. All right, so here they are. Uh, I ended up having to use, my original idea was to grab a, uh, I've seen people like grab like a coat hanger, wire hanger, and, and be able to burn into it. It wasn't working for me for whatever reason. So what I ended up having to do was use this around a paper towel and get up in there. So I got most of the wax out though. So uh, I'm gonna grab some uh, CA glue and we're gonna glue the tubes in. The only question I have, because I didn't realize they were different, is you got four holes in that one, one in that one. So which one's the salt, which one's the pepper? I don't know. Y'all know? I'm gonna have to look it up. Things you thought you never would have to do. Uh, so as soon as I figure that out, we're going to get the CA glue out and, uh, dab some in there, glue this down. We should be, uh, pretty much wrapped up. So I'll let y'all know when I figure it out. All right. So, uh, Google's no help. It says some play people prefer the pepper with more holes. Some people prefer the, prefer the salt. So I'm going to go with pepper, uh, with the, the four hole one, which, uh, is going to be this one, which, you know, I guess it's nothing written in stone. I'm probably over thunk, thunk it, over thunk it probably overthinking it but uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little of the uh ca glue and just drown it down in there and it's pretty flat so i might actually just put it on there you know what i stick with my better instinct there's a little play in these things which i thought was weird uh told me to check out Drill out to an inch, and there was some play. The shaker fish should go away once it gets glued down, so. Put a little activator on it. Drop it in. Salt down in there too. And there we are. So I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and uh, we'll give you a close up of them and talk about it. All right guys, so there it is. This wasn't a hard turning, uh, a little bit of an irritating turning. <laughs> Uh, but I think I was doing it to myself, so I was making stuff harder than it should be, overthinking stuff. So um, the wax, uh, I thought, left a, a great um, look on it, but I would not do it again on uh, when it has these rings in it because it was just a pain in the butt to get out. So, But that is what I would consider the salt shaker. the the pepper and of course as soon as I as soon as I glued it in and the glue set up I, I realized I messed up a little bit on this one but I think it'll be all right and here's the pepper so where I messed up at is I didn't get that small enough I don't know can y'all see that yeah right there the lip I didn't get that small enough but how can you tell it's handmade imperfections that's that's what I say <laughs> uh, only when it's when, when I leave the imperfections anyway so I hope y'all enjoyed this week's project I'm gonna set these down before I drop them real quick hope y'all enjoyed this week's project um, 
never done it before. It was a quick little thing. I, I thought it was kind of a cool idea. A um, little personal touch on a, on a Christmas gift. Um, and it's something that you can use on every day. So I uh, hope whoever gets it enjoys it. Um, other than that, I, I don't think I really have any more. Like I said, it was a pretty quick project. So uh, please remember to, to like. Uh, like the video that helps out the video a lot in the analytics um, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already hit that bell notification. So, you know when I got more videos coming coming out um, Comment down below. Let me let me know what you think uh, About the, the salt and pepper shaker. Did you like it? You like little projects like this? Would you rather see bowls different kind of spindle turnings? Uh, I'm up for suggestions on uh, If, if y'all want to try to see you know me turn something else that's within limits of, of the machinery I got. Like I got a five speed lathe. I can't get any bigger than nine inches around, uh, like pretty much anything outside of a 12 inches long uh, spindle wise, it's the lathe's not that good for it. So, but uh, let me know what kind of videos y'all like and I'll, I'll try it. I'm, I'm up to try anything. Um, expand my horizons when it comes to turning, expand my skill. So, uh, Comment, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if there's any other kind of video you'd like to see. And please share this out, share it out. Um, social medias and stuff, help me, uh, help it out. Help more people see the see the video. Um, I would appreciate that as well. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot else. I am, uh, it's Monday, so I've been back and forth, stopped on this thing several times because I've had other stuff to do. So I've got to get this thing edited, 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 edited. Let's try edited and get it uh, get it uploaded so it'll be ready to go for 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um, I don't know what next week's gonna be. I um, got a couple of logs out there that I would like to. I have to use the chainsaw to cut down. I my back is up to it. I'll I'll, I'll break out the chainsaw. If not, maybe I can call someone in to come over here and cutting it up for me because I would like to do a couple of bowls out of this uh, out of this piece. I think it's probably oak because <laughs> it's everything that's around here and there's some pine stuff out there um and i've got a uh an old cedar post mailbox post that um i would like to cut up and try to make some stuff out of it should be pretty dry because it's been in a garage for i don't know how long a friend of mine gave it to me so um i'd like to see if i can get anything maybe a box or something out of it try a box again i don't know so this outro is getting really long. We're into four minutes of me, of me uh, jabbering on here. So, uh, again, like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate it, guys. I'll put pictures up at the end, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what next week brings when next gets here. All right, guys. Y'all have a great one. Enjoy the rest of the week. Have a great week. Uh, it's December. It's crazy. We're almost 2022. So, uh, thank you for all the support and everything. Uh, the last seven months or whatever the year that I've been doing this uh it's been it's been kind of crazy so I appreciate all the support from everybody especially the other wood turners and stuff commenting and and uh taking an interest that that means the world to me that another person that does what I do with what takes interest in, in one of my videos that's that's freaking awesome so appreciate y'all everybody everyone subscribing and uh watching the videos y'all are just appreciate y'all so I'm I'm gonna get out of here before I say I appreciate y'all one more time or continue going on to let this go on to 10 minutes so y'all have a great week uh, we'll see y'all next tuesday bye